Congrats, we made it. It's Friday. New music from Taylor, Jeezy, and Brockhampton. Charlie Puth's new song and video is fire, literally. And the legendary Missy Elliott is back with a capital B. Plus, we catch up with the stars of 13 Reasons Why, chat sneakers with a Nike designer, and VMA red carpet fashion with a Seth Berg. And you know what? We'll top it all off with an exclusive performance from Jadena. What's going on? I'm Kevin Kenny. We're going to try to pack as much new music, TV, movies, and gear into our time together today so that you sound like you know what's up this weekend. Now, uh, they wanted me to start talking, but there's a big artist, a big new album today, and it's just, I'm sorry, guys, it's totally Taylor Swift, lover. That's it. Can I go? There you go, brand new music video from Taylor Lover. Uh, she actually said on GMA this week that the song is supposed to be like a warm blanket. And I think the visuals kind of continue that aesthetic, that feeling, at least for me. Swifties are loving Lover, obviously. Especially the All the Feels ending. <gasps> okay. Ah! Oh. She's so beautiful. I'm really in love with her. Okay. Oh, I just got chills. Do we think that she's gonna reveal being engaged at the end of this video? Oh my god, it's gonna be her daughter or something? Oh! That's the, oh, uh, that's their kid. <laughs> Really exciting news we learned this week. Taylor gonna be opening the VMAs Monday night, and she's been nearly impossible to miss this summer. From the cover of Vogue, to showing up on your Amazon box, to dropping love letters of lyrics on Spotify and in various cities around the world, and keeping fans in suspense with details about fashion collabs, Taylor has seriously pulled out all the stops rolling out this album. This project is significant in that it's the first album Taylor herself is going to own, and has recently announced she will re-record all her old music next fall, which is pretty cool for you, the fans, because now you get to sort of re fall in love with all of her classics through a more mature, wiser Taylor. And while your feed may today seem like it, Taylor is not the only artist with new music out today. Jeezy continues to revisit his alter ego with TM104, The Legend of the Snowman. It features guest spots from Rick Ross, Meek Mill, CeeLo Green, and no album is complete without the hardest working man in music today, Ty Dolla Sign. Eve, Rhapsody's third album, is inspired by trailblazing black women and includes song titles like Oprah, Michelle, and Tyra. Brockhampton dropped Ginger after announcing a surprise performance in an undisclosed secret location in LA tonight. So if you're out west, you can try and peep that. And the ladies' favorite, Jadena, dropped 85 to Africa. Jadena recently stopped by MTV to talk about the album. Take a look. 85 to Africa is, is the highway across the Atlantic. And on any long highway, you gotta have your nice little road trip music. But the genre span hip hop, trap, soul, R&B, all the way to Afro beats. The album was made all, all across Africa, especially in Southern Africa, between Namibia, uh, Swaziland, Mozambique, South Africa. So we wanted to put that magic together. It was started in Atlanta. I made a lot of it on the continent of Africa, and I came back and finished it in the U.S. between L.A. and Brooklyn. Good to hear from Jadena. Also, you got yourself an exclusive performance from that man in just a little bit, so definitely stay with us for that. 13 Reasons Why is out, and so is the soundtrack, which features music from Youngblood and Charlie XCX, as well as two artists that have new videos out this week. Loud featuring Anne-Marie, F I'm Lonely. I call you one time, two time, three time, I can't wait no more. Your fingers through my head, it's on my mind. And five seconds of summer, teeth. Sometimes you're a stranger in my bed. Don't know if you love me or you want me dead. And let's talk singles and more videos. There are ser seriously so many to get to this week. Let's start with Lana Del Rey, who goes big with a new video that combines two different songs, F It, I Love You, and The Greatest. Both are off her new album, Norman Effing Rockwell, which you can stream August 30th. We're Kyle has F 
After You, I Love You with Tiana Taylor. Baby, don't apologize, cause I done said a thousand times, fuck you. I love you. Okay, that's one, two, three. That's three different songs with the word F in them. Guys, what's going on? All right, why don't we? Let's clean it up a little bit. They dropped What Am I. We should try that sometime. Hold you till the morning. But if I said I'm falling, would you just reply? I know you are, but what am I? If you were looking for proof that 2019 has seriously flown by, get this. Charlie Puth is back with his first new music in a year. I warm myself. Things have certainly heated up for Charlie. See what I did there? New video for I Warn Myself is filled with fire. That's the joke. And the videos just keep on coming. The 1975 release People. And finally, she's getting the Video Vanguard Award Monday night at the VMAs. And now Missy Elliott is adding to her legendary list of videos with Throw It Back. Middle finger flip, get up off my tip, money, money, clip, clip, Louis on my hip, Lambo beat the whip, like banana split, split, look at all my eyes, see the way my jewelry trip, come up off that lit, lit. yeah, he wanna kick it, but he cannot kick it, unless he beat my dick, dick. Very excited to see what she does Monday night with her video Vanguard performance. It's always a performance every year that we all look forward to at the VMAs. And she just has so many iconic videos with her work with Hype Williams back in the day. Really throughout her career, collaborators she can tap into. So that's definitely going to be appointment television. She also worked with some of the biggest artists ever, both in front of the camera and behind it. So it makes you wonder, somebody like Missy, right, who's worked with everybody, who is still on her bucket list? A few artists that I... I... I won't name them all, but it's a few artists that I haven't um, worked with that I would love to do uh, records with, and that is Rihanna. We were supposed to work a few times, and you know, I guess our scheduling was crazy, but Rihanna most definitely, I would love to hear a Missy and Rihanna record. I think that would be kind of fire. Throw it back. Throw it back. Watch me. Throw it back. I named the project We Love You Tekka because like that was my first tag and this is my first project so I just want to keep it. We Love You Tekka sounds like the music I listen to because that's what my fans like. We have like similar tastes so if I like something I know they're going to like it. I know I'm about to blow, oh, oh, oh. They try to take my floor, I take their ass for Ransom. Has my music changed since Ransom? Uh, yeah, my music has changed. Because I, I, I like different music now. I like think about different stuff now. I just have a different mindset. Subject matter wise, not really. But the delivery, the way, you would just have to listen. You'll, you'll hear it. There's a remix of Ransom on it with Juice World. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I don't know if it's coming out with a video or not. You'll see. Hey, I'm Jamela Mustafa, and here's a look at what's fresh in TV and film today. Looks like Gerard Butler is out to save the president for a third time. An angel has fallen. Now, in this installment, Secret Service agent Mike Banning is seeking vindication after being framed for the attempted assassination of the U.S. president, played by Morgan Freeman. The Oscar award-winning actor has led all three branches of government on screen and even played the role of God. Hmm, does Hollywood know something that we don't? Out in limited release is the Sundance Festival award winner, Brittany Runs a Marathon. It tells the story of a woman whose hard partying lifestyle catches up with her and she's ordered to slim down. And in the process of losing weight, she also sheds her past, but gains a brand new perspective on life. We have a bunch of membership options okay. to fit all your fitness needs with rates as low as $129 a month. I'm sorry, I thought you said um, as low and then the $129 for a month. 
yeah, that's a starting rate, $129 a month, and for that you get access to everything in the gym except half of it. That's So every person we've walked by has $129 to just give to you. Is there a sliding scale for people in debt up to their tits? Okay, now let's jump into what's fresh in TV and streaming. Although Dwayne The Rock Johnson just tied the knot, he is still having a hot boy summer. After heating up the box office with Hobbs and Shaw, Johnson returns to his role as Spencer Strasmore in HBO's fifth season of Ballers on Sunday. The third season of the high school drama 13 Reasons Why premieres on Netflix today. Our good friends at MTV News had the chance to sit down with the cast who are gearing up to begin filming for the fourth and final season of the series about what they hope the show's legacy would be. I just wanted to be remembered as a show that is not afraid to ask the important questions. It's been an era and we've all gotten so close through all this. I think it's unique too because of the, the subject matter that we cover in this show. It's not always easy to shoot some of the scenes we shoot, so I, I think we've become especially close as a cast and a crew. We know the end's coming, so we're all ready. <laughs> like the first table read is even just like, oh wow. We still have many more table reads, but this is this is the first of the last season and it's gonna all come to a to a close here before too long. And of course, our iconic award show is back. The VMAs airs on Monday night, and it will be a star-studded event. We've got live performances from Taylor Swift, Shawn Mendes, Camila Cabello, the Jonas Brothers, Little Nas X, and Lizzo. Now, each year, this show is full of all sorts of surprises. You never know what might just happen. Tomorrow is Mamba Day, 824. You get it, Kobe Bryant's jersey numbers. Uh, he's actually releasing the Nike Kobe AD NXT Fast Fit and the undefeated Zoom Kobe 4 package is also dropping. The Zooms feature one shoe with eight, another shoe with a 24 on the back in honor, of course, of Kobe's two different numbers he wore during his career. Adidas is also re-releasing the sought after Yeezy Bone Whites, which are a collector favorite. And like the Yeezy Wave Runners last week, this release covers all sizes from infant all the way up to adult. And one of the freshest drops this week was the Nike first gen designed by one of our very own VP of design, Rich Tu. Cool. What up, dude? Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for taking the Appreciate time, it. man. This is, uh, I mean, first off, this is like a sneakerhead's dream. You design sneakers, right? Yep. How did you get this opportunity with Nike? Well, I had the great opportunity to join Nike's Cultivator program, where they take a lot of great creatives that are in specific cities. This drop was for New York City. And uh, we all got to work on our very own sneakers and design them according to our own stories. So for me, this started with this personal project that I do. It's called First Generation Burden. It's a podcast that I host where we speak to immigrants and the children of immigrants and uh, really kind of elevate that voice. And then Nike was really inspired by that story. So they allowed me to tell that story through the shoe, through the Air Max 270 Reacts. And from a color and design perspective, there's something that really uh, resonates with a lot of immigrants, which is oxidized metal. So if you're familiar with oxidized metal, it's something that happens in a lot of countries. Um, it's a very organic texture, and it's also very present in the Statue of Liberty because that is oxidized copper. Rocking some sweet shades. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Oh, that, that statue's wavy for sure. <laughs> Very New York specific. So uh, that's where you see the oranges and the teals really pop off, especially that beautiful blending energy from the front to the back. And uh, of course you have the little Statue of Liberty icon to connect all the dots. Now Rich, if somebody's watching uh, Fresh Out right now and they want to grab these, where can we copy these? How do they get them? So there's a very special website that goes right to Nike.com. Oh, nice. um, it's through Cultivator. And also, I just want to let everybody know that the proceeds that I get from the shoe are all going to the ACLU. That's awesome. To help benefit uh, immigrants' rights, because I think that's very important. It's a very important thing to me. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. And again, only available until Labor Day. So get out there if you dig them. Uh, let's talk about these shoes, though, because I just got to big you up really quick. Everything you see on your screen right now, you design. Which I think is so, it's just incredible. With a lot and, of people. But well, yes, of course, of course, of course. Uh, but I, they're just so creative. Talk to me about these. I've actually been a long time admirer. I love the foam posits. And you took it in a really cool, creative direction with these guys. All right, so a couple of years ago, we were celebrating the 20th anniversary of the foam posit because it's a classic shoe. Penny Hardaway looks like a xenomorph on your feet, right? Uh, so I was looking at the Nike archives. So there was a poster that had all this beautiful hand done type that said, hey, Penny, show me how to play ball. And I took that poster, took it to heart, and also took it physically, and then recreated that type 
and then made an all over print pattern on this foam posit. This is really cool, Rich. It seems that every shoe has a story. Oh yeah, absolutely. These are called the mac and cheese and they're the Kyrie models. How did this come about? Cause this is another really cool rendition, man. Right, so this was a really fun story. And uh, for those who don't know, you can Google it. Kyrie Irving's favorite food is mac and cheese. So some of the details here I can show with these pieces, we did a we did a melty cheese Kyrie Irving logo that was specific to the tongue top. And also we made these custom insole graphics. This is a noodle pattern. So we got to design that. And then in terms of color, uh, we use yellow, white, and blue, reminiscent of a very popular macaroni and cheese <laughs> brand. And then we have a silver swoosh, because that's the spoon. I'm simultaneously inspired, ready to play basketball, and also hungry somehow, Rich. So thank you so <laughs> much for stopping by Fresh Out, man. Cheers, thank you very much. And as you can see, the VMA is our Monday night, and Rosalie is performing live, 8 p.m., there you go. Nice plug. And that means unpredictable moments on your television, lots of moon persons getting handed out, and of course, stylists getting those celebrities ready for the red carpet. We got a chance to chat with a few attendees about what they'll be rocking to the show. Check it out. The VMAs, when it comes to the outfits, how do I choose my fit? So my red carpet look for the VMAs is a little bit more dressy. I'm, I'm trying to get a suit, but I wanted it to be a, a bit more baggy, so uh, I don't know which color yet, but I think I'm going straight for that. Usually I like to have about four or five looks. Yes, four or five looks. It is definitely um, specially made, and we are actually cutting it up tomorrow. I can tell you I always like to go a little crazy, so that's going to be a fun one. What I do is I go to Google and I, I look at all of the, the history of VMA uh, and all the artists that ever had the craziest fits. When I think about Marilyn Manson, I think about Little Kim with the, the that thai out. <laughs> Lady Gaga with the meat dress. I gotta come with something crazy, so. For sure, you gotta go like with everything all out, man. You, you, if, if you have the chains, you, you gotta take them with you. you. You gotta bring your best when, when you go to the VMAs. And also fresh out this week, bam! We got one. Popeye's debuted its first ever chicken sandwich. Feast your eyes on that bad boy. And who knew a sandwich could go viral? You're famous, dude. Probably already has more followers than I do. Now, you have caused a bit of a debate, believe it or not, between Popeye's fans and Chick-fil-A loyalists as to which one is better. What do you think about the beef over this chicken? Let us know down in the comments. And finally, let's get to the exclusive performance you will only see here on Fresh Out Fridays. It's Jadena doing Tribe. Feel like one of the crew, feel like one of the crew. Ain't got nothing to do, ain't got nothing to do. Feel like super glue. Feel like one of the truth. And I'm running with you. We got money to move. Put your pride in the trash bin. Too much ego in the caption. Don't get swept up like a Tesla. You ain't really need the gas. In. Hate to see my flashing. Hate the plot, let it cast it. Try and catch a lacking. Bet the child, but I last them. And got an action. And the funky way of dancing. And we get a what a passion. And they still afraid of blasting. Try and split a fraction. More money for the trapping. Stadiums full of vibranium in the land of the blasting. And it's time that we cash it. Build a hunger like a fasting. Let's think of more action. I'm some more tapping. Black sideline of captain. Babylonian assassin. Fake woke snapping. Talk them in like a napkin. Damn my top. Damn my crew. Damn my crew. Get ready. Damn my fan. Damn my sick. That my gang, that my rip. Come on, come on, that my tribe. Everybody on stage, yeah. everybody on that my tribe. Yeah. Hey. That my tribe. Yeah. Hey. That my tribe. Watch it, watch it. Look. Travel wide, travel wide. That should be my backpack. That should be my alibi now. Yeah. That's why I travel wide. I ain't lying, by and by, that's my time. They tryna conquer all the time. <laughs> Laugh and multiply the vibe. Let them try, let them try, let them try. Come on, come on, that's my time. Yeah, 
Sing it. 